What is up everybody? I'm your average gamer and man with the release of Jedi Survivor right around the corner I got super excited to want to play a Star Wars game that I downloaded Jedi Fallen Order Now I have a hate love relationship with this game. Don't get it wrong. I, I do love this game a lot I just thought it could have been a little bit better when I started to play it now I'm not trying to pick apart the game I think that there should be a huge fan base for this game and there should be a whole lot of people being super excited to play the new game that's coming out. It looks like it's improved on so many things and there's still a lot to enjoy about this game, especially if you haven't played it. I think it would be a good time to kind of jump into it before the release of Survivor. Anyway, we're going to just jump right into it. We're going to start a new game and we are Jedi Grandmaster, baby. So let's see how this goes. No promises on super fluid gameplay, but I've... Of course, I'll always try. Let's just jump right into it. Bro, the first hour of this game is something else. There's so much happening on your screen. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. They did an amazing job. And I'm not going to lie. Had they kept it up throughout the entire game, this could have been an amazing Star Wars game. I think it's really good. I just... I don't know. It'd be cool if you were able to kind of decipher the languages the more that you uh, played the game. So like in a New Game Plus version, you should be able to like decipher what everyone's saying in a different language. If you found out a way to kind of study the language, I think it would be like a cool little detail. You know, stuff that you walked past before that were all gibberish or whatever in a different language you can now read, maybe get some more information. Seems like this coming up makes me a little sad. I'm in the kitchen making coffee knowing that I don't have to even touch my controller. I'm like slowly walking back. Like I wish it was just like you should have died for not touching your controller. That's like how every other game is. And then later on in the train, you don't even have to touch your controller again either. Like it's a cool scene, but like you're not interacting with it. Fire scene right here, fire. Love it, fire. Fire. Like, that's the stuff I want more of. That face-to-face -face type of stuff. Like, let me get close to these characters I'll never meet in real life, you know? I'm gonna make this look cinematic. Let's go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so much for cinematic. <laughs> I think you used the timing real quick. Hopefully I don't die here. I was on my phone. Okay, nothing important has happened. Oh, we're, we're gonna take it. Jesus. Oh, I already. Yeah, uh, that was a good fight. Off the top ropes. Do I? I think I'm gonna change my lightsaber to orange. I, I, I'm obsessed with the blue lightsaber. I really am. I like the green one too. I'm like the OG. I, I like the OG colors. Green and blue. That's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna do all the premium content stuff, right? Come on, might as well. Premium content only. Right, so we're gonna freeze this guy and just can't wait till we get that sprint square move. It's like my favorite move in the game. Whoever lived here used it. Tight fit, but this should work. Oh god, that's so tight. Dude, I, don't, I don't know why the fuck I'm like this. <laughs> Dude, I, just, I sit here and laugh at my own fucking jokes because one, I'm hilarious and I and I know I am. Uh, but two, that dude, I'll laugh at anything pretty much. I sat here like, dude, that was like the stupidest thing you've ever said. It's not funny. But the more I thought about it, the funnier it was. Nice. That was 
extremely unfortunate. Dude, I have evolved as a gamer so much. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Yes, I just beat a simple, very tiny, small boss. I understand. It's not that big of an accomplishment. But the first time I ever played, like, this game, or any Souls-like game in general, I know that this isn't a Souls game. Don't yell at me in the comments. But it's Souls-like in the sense that you rest and they respawn and all that crazy fun stuff, right? Anyways, what blows my mind is the first time I ever fought this thing, I died, like, two or three times. And here I am playing on the hardest difficulty as if it's nothing, and man, it's crazy. It's crazy to look back at and realize that I've played video games my whole life, but I never really cared about getting better until like a few years ago. It's it's a weird thought. See something in there? Ah, the flashbacks, bro. Again, okay, cool the first time you play this game. Okay, but... Let me skip it. You know? Like, let this just be the tutorial. I think you should be able to play an entire Star Wars game without really wanting to use a lightsaber. Maybe, like, in a New Game Plus mode, where your force powers are so good that you can just pick up enemies, use them as shields, throw them, uh, make a force shield. Uh, you know, stuff like that, like, wreak havoc with just your force. Whereas, if you wanted to be a crazy uh, lightsaber mechanic uh, or fighter, you should be able to have both offense and defense for the lightsaber. Like being able to have more uh, guard counter for yourself or being able to do more damage or whatever it is. I think that would be a really cool incentive to like kind of try to build a Jedi pretty much. You know, it's cool that you get to unlock all the skills and stuff like that, but I think that if there was more skills in specific categories, like more force upgrades, more lightsaber upgrades, more either like health upgrades or whatever it is. And depending on what you upgraded, your name for your Jedi would change. I don't know. I think that would just be a, a, a pretty cool idea. Oh my god, dude. It seems like this, bro. I wish I, would, I could skip. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to sit here and listen to this old man talk, bro. Alright, let's go, big froggo. Smells worse than grease does. First try. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We're not talking about it. Oh god, I press square again. Heavy, heavy attack. Counter. Oh my god, let's go. I'm in my groove now. Easy! First try! Oh, I forgot about Ah, uh, he didn't do the cool little lightsaber trick. Dude, it's so dope when he, like, flicks it. Ah, uh, he, like, twirls it around in his hand and then just throws it in his holster. First try, by the way. First try. Okay. So... Oh, God, I forgot we're gonna have to fight that giant thing here. This might go... Terribly wrong. Think we weren't, think we weren't standing there. That isn't a sign of saying you're gonna fuck yourself by going here right now. I don't know what else is. These things can actually be quite easy to defeat if you're not trash like I am. Let's see. <laughs> Dude. Dude, this thing's erratic! Oh, it's gonna tell me to fucking roll. Oh. Hey, this is going about as smooth as I thought it was going to, so, yep, that is so awesome. Oh my god. That lunge, though. Let's go! First try. Uh 
Stop dancing around. Tell me what to do, nerd. Get out of here. Oh my god, I really hope I don't die to this guy. Yes, sir. One of the most satisfying deflections in any game. I forgot how easy it is to destroy, like, the general mobs in this game. Uh, I didn't want to like roll into him, but it is what it is. Nice. I mean, dude. <laughs> like that was one a little too easy, but also so rewarding just by pressing L1 at the specific time. God, all the Xbox players just heard me say L1. They're about to dislike the video now. <laughs> Feet up like that, <laughs> dude. I, dude, why was I hanging on like that? I cannot be the only one that consecutively misses these things, right? Like. I understand, listen, I'm super uncoordinated and every single person that's gonna be like, oh, you're trash, you're just so much better than I am, okay? I get that, I understand, all right? You're way better, your dick is bigger, your girl's better, you make more money, you probably look way better than I do. We get it, okay? Well, what I'm trying to say is, I can't be the only person in the world to consecutively miss that fucking jump. Or, oh, I was about to say, or this one, Jesus. Pop this thing now. Yes, sir. For the Empire. Blew him through the map. Calculated. Help, we 
We actually have to go that way anyway because we need... Well, I kind of just want to open that door that's down there to be honest. Man, I did a whole bunch of damage. Sheesh. Oh my god. That was by far the fastest I've ever destroyed that thing. I like how this guy just crawls out. Dang. You ready for a swim, BD? If I wasn't restricted to editing on my PlayStation, I would add that bloop <laughs> sound right there. <laughs> like that tiny water drop. Bloop. This game has some really good ideas. That's something I really have to point out. A lot of people should appreciate. Uh, again, everyone always complains about something, right? But man, like, when ever in the game have you walked on an a an AT, at You know, like that. It's just awesome. It's cool, and then you get to go inside of it. And granted, you get like a very minimal experience to really use it. It's still, you know, I I'm open to these type of things. Like this, this part right here was so cool. Your turn to report fatalities. Just bust out here. They're all like, whoa. He's gone on the two button press. I just, I wish it wasn't so simple. On that little twirl he does, that's what I was talking about earlier. Fire. 